Good day everyone, I hope you're doing great. My name is George and I'm a coach for Chart Champions. Today I want to share with you all the only technical analysis you need to trade Bitcoin for the next days, weeks and maybe months to come. Usually, when I start my technical analysis, I would like to start with a high time frame. And for this example, I would like to use the weekly time frame. So what we can see here is that since Bitcoin, since January 2021, when Bitcoin was able to break this 30k psychological area, we've seen this really nice range forming where the 30k area actually is acting as a really, really good support. And when I see a range like this, one of the first things that I would like to do is actually to pull the fixed range tool like this. And with this, I get some really important information and levels on the chart, like the point of control, value area high and value area low of this range. And as we can see, the price was trying to push to the upside, but the point of control acted as resistance. The price trying once, trying twice, but after that, the price was rejected. In situation like this, and especially for a swing trader, these are the only levels you need to trade. So after the rejection from the point of control of this range, one would expect more downside and why not maybe a possible move to the value area low of this range. Also, if Bitcoin managed to push once again to the upside and actually this time managed to claim and flip the point of control to support, then one would see a possible move to the to the upside maybe to the value area high of this range and why not higher so with this high time frame fixed range pool we managed to find some high time frame level that can be used for swing trading that would be the point of control value area high and value area low of this range and it is always a good idea actually to mark these kind of levels on your chart but a move let's say from the rejection from the point of control to the value area low of this range could take a lot of time. That could be weeks or maybe months. So we need to find some levels in between here so we can actually trade every day. And for that, we need to move to lower time frame, for example, daily time frame. And here we can actually see some really important stuff. We can see the price actually formed a range here above the value area high of this range. When the value area high of this high time frame range was lost, then we formed then we formed a range between the value area high and the point of control of this range. And after that, we actually form a range below the point of control with the point of control actually acting as resistance. Resistance here and resistance here. And when I see something like this, a range forming, once again, the next thing that I want to do is actually to pull the fixed range. So let's pull the fixed range like this. And once again, here we can see that we actually getting some new information on the chart. We can use that information for trading. So we can see here, once again, the point of control of this range, value area high of this range and value area low of this range. As you can see here, the value area high of this range acted as a very good resistance, resistance once, twice, three times. After that, value area high was claimed back tested and then actually the price moved to the next important level on the chart which is the point of control of the high time frame range like i said the price was trying actually to push here push but it was rejected a couple of times and after that the price pushed once again to the downside as we can see here at the first retest the value area high of this range acted that support and then another push to the point of control. After that, another push to the downside. And this time, the value area high 
of this range was lost, backtested, and the next important level on the chart, I would say it is the point of control. Point of control was tested here, resulting in a small bounce, but after that it was lost, and obviously the next important level on the chart would be the value area low of this range. Value area low of this range, it is the next important level on the chart, together with this high volume node. Once again, in situation like this, we can actually mark these kind of levels. Something like this, so we can have value area high, point of control, and value area low of this range. So, with this fixed range pool, we managed to determine the important levels within this range. That would be the value area high, the point of control, and the value area low of this range. Together with this high volume node, I will consider this as an area, let's say between 39 and 38k. So when the price lost this point of control, one would expect a push to the downside. And the price stopped here. And now, using technical analysis, I would like to see if there is a technical reason why the price stopped here and then we've seen this push to the upside, or this is just a random move on the chart. And for that, I would like to use some very simple tools, but very effective tools. And I would like to start with the fib retracement pool, let's say from this low to the top of this range, something like this. And we can see the CC is here. We all know the CC is a very well respected level on the chart. So we already have a confluence. Also, if we pull a fib fan from this low, once again, to the top of this range, we can see also the 0 0.66 level is there. You can see it was tested once, tested twice, three times, and actually it is acting as support. So we already have two confluences at that level. Also, we can add another one, and that would be a daily level that was formed here. So we or we can see already that we have three confluences more or less at the same level in the same area. So I would say a bounce is possible in this kind of situation. So using technical analysis, we managed to understand why the price stopped in this area and why here we are forming this range. These kind of levels, this kind of information can be used for day traders, but in our group, we have day traders, we have swing traders, and we have scalp traders. So now I want to go on even lower time frame to actually try to understand what happened in this area. And for that, I would like to move on lower time frame, like let's say one hour. I would like to hide some levels because I, because I want to keep my chart as clean as possible like this, and we are left basically with this daily level. We can see the daily level was touch, backtested, holding as support, and then the bounce. And the price moved to this area. After that, we've seen a rejection. And I want to see if there's actually a technical reason for this rejection. And for that, I would like to add another level and that would be this daily level. This daily level, it's an older daily level, but as you can see on the chart, it is very well respected and the price was actually rejected to the absolute dollar. Then the price comes down once again, back testing this daily and after that another bounce. And this time, this daily is no longer holding as resistance, but it was claimed, backtested, and then we've seen another push to the upside. And for that, I would like to add another level on the chart, and that would be another daily, 40,994. 
that is the next important level on the chart. And we can see actually this level was claimed, backtested, and at that point in time, it was acting as support. Tested once, tested twice, tested here. After that, this level was lost, backtested, and another push to the downside, right? So in this kind of situation, these daily levels can be used for scalping and day trading. Another thing that I want to show you to see the actual rejection from this point, and for that, I would like to use ExoCharts. ExoCharts is an order flow software that we use to check the reaction and to give us really important details about the volume. And we have a couple of templates. And this is the Igor session template. So we've seen this move to the downside and then the price is trying to push to the upside. And we can see here, we have a naked session point of control. Price touching this naked session point of control, leaving a selling tail. And after that, we've seen this range where the lower daily, this daily was actually acting as support. Also, this range here can be considered as a consolidation above support, which by definition is bearish. But once again, we can use our order flow software to see what actually happened in this area to get even better information about the volume. And for that, I would use this template. So this is our move. After that, the level was claimed, the daily level was claimed, and we need to zoom in to actually see what's happening here. This, what you can see on the chart, are the actual orders, market orders. And we need to check what's going on with this volume, with the volume on the chart. So we started with 69 million, pushing back to 45, 38 million, 10 million, 13 million. So what we can see in this part of the chart, in this area, in this range, we can see the volume was actually slowly decreasing. For a push to the upside, you'd like to see the volume increasing, not decreasing. If on top of that, we add some bearish divergences, then it should be no surprise for anyone in the group that actually the price broke to the downside once again. So this level lost, and then we've seen the push to the downside, where once again, we need to determine if actually this is a very, very good technical reason why the price once again stopped here. And for that, I would like to enable another level on the chart, and this is another daily level, 39,511. And as you can see, this level was touched to the absolute dollar, and then we've seen the current bounce. So using this kind of very simple, but very effective technical tools, like the daily levels, the FIB retracement, FIB fan, we can get a pretty good idea why the price is moving to the upside or why the price is moving to the downside. If on top of that, we add an order flow software like exocharts.com, then we can get even more in depth and we can get even additional confluences and uh, information about the, the volume, the naked session point of control and so on. These kind of templates are basically together with the order flow are all you need to become a good, profitable trader. And because I mentioned exocharts.com and the templates that we are using to check the order flow, I want to add that they are available for free in Discord with both our champions and the contender subscription. Also, if you like to learn more about the order flow and how we use these templates, 
please leave a comment below and maybe in the future I will make a stream about these templates. And this is the way you design a trading plan. Starting with the high time frame, you mark your level, let's say if you are a swing trader, then if you are a day trader, you can go on lower time frame, you can add more information on the chart and you can see these levels are very well respected and if you are a scalper you can go on even lower time frame you can add even more information on the chart and this kind of levels this kind of simple confluences will help you to become a better a profitable trader if you are interested in this kind of information in real time all you need to do is join chart champions and every day from Monday to Friday, I'm doing an update where I walk you through the price action, I share my levels, I share my trading plan, and at the end of the stream, I answer your questions in the chat. And with that being said, and until next time, thank you for everything. Cheers and bye-bye.